Hey everyone, this is Holly Tokus, Beard Optimus for Tasker, and welcome to part two of Let's Play Hyrule Warriors. So this part first, we're going to change Link into the hero's clothes. I think I've shown the Breath of the Wild costume enough. And then we're going to tackle the second stage, which is the Elven Caves. We're going to start off with, with by selecting Impa and I think this one will be the weapon. After an arduous battle, Link and his comrades slew King Dodongo, but the beast was only ever intended as a distraction. The army of monsters had taken Hyrule Castle. Worse, after the dust had settled. Princess Zelda was nowhere to be found. Impa and Link searched the battlefield for any sign of her, but to no avail. Although the battle had been lost, Impa foresaw Link's importance to the coming war. She bestowed upon him a green tunic, the sign of the legendary hero. Link did not believe himself worthy of the honor, but he was determined to help Impa and her remaining soldiers locate Zelda. Weeks passed. Impa heard a rumor that a handful of soldiers were holding out against the monsters in Farron Woods. The leader of this resistance was supposedly a young woman. Impa dared to hope that this unknown woman was Zelda. Link and Impa decided to make their way to the forest by way of the Elden Caves, a path with its own dangers. All right, so we're going using Impa and Link for this page, and we've got Hylian Captain on our side, and there's a big Poe in the middle. Two keeps. Uh, this is going to get bigger than that. Just trust me on that. It's when we have to escape the battlefield. Let's get started. Okay, let's just start already. Actually, now that I think about it, the earbuds really don't get sound very good. And like the earbuds I'm using. I couldn't even hear the narration and just now. I could hear background music, kinda, sorta, but the narration with the voiceovers. The only voice in the game that I was not getting. But anyway, we've taken an outpost. And again, we are playing as Impa. Uh, I talked about her, her playing in part one. Oh jeez, I don't really have much to talk about here, do I? Okay, um, that's what happens with Warrior Kings. They're kind of hard to commentate. Because there's a lot of the same stuff being done. And you're doing a lot of climbing through hordes of enemies. Give me a lot of taking paces. I kind of knew it would be hard to commentate, but I'll see what I can do. I will see what I can do. Let's 
just test this out. Nice. Okay. believe it. I am actually lost. And I think I played through this before. That way. I can hear our soldiers up ahead, but the gates are closed, so we can't join them. Can we do something to open a way ahead? I'm having trouble finding the right volume. Okay, let's see if I can remember third away from Stopping our progress. We need to find a way past it. Okay, the way is blocked. So we need to go the long way. That's always fine. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff I have missed, like. Using the text because I'm too busy hacking and flashing. Haunt you. I don't want to go on explosive weapons. Kind of a duh. Oh, we better get there quickly. Let's just hurry on over there. They're going after our bomb chew. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it. I'm still having so much trouble raising my voice to where the microphone picks up clearly. And 
I know I'm going to get better at it later down the line. And so it's really no time to be complaining about I mean, not being able to raise my voice properly. But, jeez. I keep looking over at Audacity to see if my voice is coming in loud enough, but it doesn't look like it. You know, like it actually does not look like it. I think the mic is picking up my voice properly. There's no time for that. The bomb choose moving again. And so we should get moving too. Wow! We're really close to a thousand KOs. Let's just take the West Square. Deal with Liz Alphos. I can't talk right now. I am so good at speech. I don't know what the deal is. Back in school, I was so good at talking. Yeah, I did well in speech class. It's like communications and applications, but now it's just like, what is wrong with me? I'm actually being serious here. Or I actually feel like I've gotten worse at speech. The big pose taken care of. There we go. So, all right, let's get this weapon over here. dealt with. So, let's get moving. Uh-oh. This could be bad. Help us? <sighs> Sheik. In comes some Sheik a tribe. Okay, so we've got Sheik joining us now, and it seems like she killed Pink. Uh, it seems like she'll be playable in a little bit. Not right now, though. Well, but eventually, we'll be able to show her off.
But in the meantime, let's take this outpost. I remember back in older Dice Warriors games, and we get praise, get praise from ally officers. Oops, they're taking now 50 and 100, and the allied officers will praise you for, for every 50 enemies you, you kill. Mm, but now it's just like for every thousand enemies, and because it's so much easier to just rank up thousands of KOs now. I don't know. For some reason, and, and it could just be because I grew up with the older games more, where I might actually kind of defer how it was in, in like Dice Warriors 4 and 5 and in the original Samurai Warriors. I don't know why. Oh, there's this treasure chest. It's a weapon! We'll know what it is once the battle is over. Got this bomb tree over here, don't we? Wither called Sonners. Oh, yikes. We're going to take care of them. Oh boy. Uh oh, one of our bases is in peril. Yikes. The West Square is about to fall. That's bad. The Wither called Salkers place of the Round about. Counter attack? Oh, that is not good. Well. Let's just take care of them. Here's the first assault troop. He went down quickly. Again, like I said in part one, we're over leveled because I played through all of Legend Mode before. There's a big Poe down. Last assault troop. Oh! I just noticed. Sheik's playable now. Let's switch to her for a little bit. Now um, by a little bit, I mean the rest of the battle. <laughs> so yeah, Sheik uses... Nice! Well, daggers. Oh. Oh. I shouldn't have jumped down. Oh well. The way back up isn't too long.
know, it's so tempting right now. Well, let me just try I can move my mic mic up closer to where I am. I'm sorry. It'll pick up my voice a little better, but but that also means I'll have to deal with the kind of buzzing sound and copying that I will have to edit out. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But really, you know, what I might consider doing is, is getting a headset with a pop filter. I know it might be a little expensive, but I'm not sure what else to do. My setup is really ghetto right now. Oh, well, my setup is really amateurish. I think that's what's causing the audio problems for me. And so perhaps a headset with a pop filter would fix that. I'll need to look into it. Go somewhere like Walmart, electronics department. And see what I can find as far as headsets, and see if I can get a good pop filter. filter as well. I sure know I could use it. It would solve all of my problems. Problems with the earbuds, the microphone that I'm placing a bit of a distance away from me. Please, so that I, I can try to avoid playing my audio peaking. Okay, I think now is a good time and to head back down to the bottom of the map of where we were before and take that keep that we're supposed to be focusing on. We can take the stone square back while we're at it. And I don't see why not. Oh yeah, for Sheik's charge attack, which is done with the X button, she uses magic by playing her heart. That's something neat I find. It kind of reminds me of Oracle of Ages for the Game Boy Color. Uh, the Heart of Ages that allows you to travel through time, from the past, the present, and the future. I never actually got to play the game in full myself, but I did play it. At, at kiosks at Walmart as a child. And yeah, who remembers kiosks? Like, serious question. And who remembers kiosks? You know, it's, it's like they have this huge display you know, at Walmart, and Target, in the electronics department, and video game section where. Her, her, a system will be set up and, and there will be a controller only ready there for you to access. Uh, 
Game Boy. I mean, but with the Game Boy stuff. So it's like, we add an aisle. Well, and just be right there for you to play. So you try it out and see if you like it. And, and hopefully, I mean, we had, had the money for it. If you liked it, you could buy it. I mean, I really only got copies of the game by like, the kiosks, but that was a whole other time. I mean, these days it seems like those are only at like in GameStop, up in used game stores. Stuff like that. With the advent of with digital marketplaces and playable demos that can easily be easy accessed with a download, download like directly to your console. Well, it kind of seems to me like. Like stores don't see a need for kiosks anymore. So, I mean, again, all over time. That's weird, I took the key. But nothing's happening. That's really weird. There doesn't seem to be any other cues on the map. It's been a while since I did this this battle. I don't really remember all of the details. And wow! And I just realized I've been playing for nearly a half an hour. This is going to take such a long time to render. Right. It looks like we're going to have to take the long way to get to our next destination. Definitely going to have to take the long way. Get ready for backtracking. Yay! What? What fun? Here we go, I'm getting so caught up in my off-topic ramblings that I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing in the game. <laughs> that was distracting me. I'm sorry. I mean, but let's get on with it. Okay, okay, first let me take this last keep. Uh-oh. I should follow a little more about that. But it's fine, it's fine, because this won't take long at all. I've got the bomb shoe. 
All right. Let's go get another one. Uh, let's not do anything stupid like throwing two characters into that into that keep. Seems like it's just sealed off. Oh hey, the doors are open now. Where'd the bomb chew go? Whatever. Oh, it didn't go anywhere. Oh boy. Here we are. The Dark Wizard again. And he has a name. It's Wizro. Let's just get rid of this outpost. It's ours. It's ours now. Let's get rid of this Zazafos. Alright. It's there already. Let's go to the other one now. There we go. He's almost down already. And there he goes. Let's get rid of that Lazalfos. I don't like him. Boom. It'll be pretty smooth sailing. Oh, what's that over there? It's a material. Gimme. Here it is. Now it's time to get out of this cave. Caves. <laughs> Hurry up, Link. The exit is here. There we go. So, how about that? I caught up in off-topic ramblings leading to me not paying attention to what I'm doing, and a bunch of other stuff, and this took longer than I expected it to. Giant's Knife, Simple Crossbows for Linkle, Goss's Harp for Sheik, Fire Rod for Link. I'm going to have to show that off later. Zalfa's Gauntlet, Wizard's Robe, Big Poe Necklace, Zalfa's Scales, Monster Teeth. Can never have too many of those.
let's go to the bazaar for a little bit. We can get some tack badges for Impa. Lost hair clip was was really big thing. We can only get one. Let's get this. And there's an assist badge we can get. Can we get anything for Sheik? No. So I think that'll just about do it. I think. Next time, we'll tackle the Farron Woods, the Sorceress of the Woods, and until then, then I'm Atali Tuka, Spirit Optimist with Tasker. I'll see you all later.